All right, so I'm going to show you how to get Arc Welder running on Simplified 3D. First, we go here to the GitHub page. Then we want to go here to Releases and click on it. And we want to download the latest one for your operating system. For me, would be Windows 32. I'll just click on it and save it. Go ahead and save it to my desktop. All right, so that's saved. And here it is. We'll unzip. And here it is. The only important file here that we want is the, the one located inside the bench folder. And here it is. We just copy. And now we want to go into the to the folder where Simplified 3D is located. So for that, the simple way to find that folder is just going to the application icon, right clicking, and right here, open file location. We click on it, and we simply just cop, um, paste what we just copied. Since I already have it here in this folder, I'm just gonna cancel out. But as you can see, I have it right here inside the default folder for Simplified 3D. So that step is done. We exit out of there. We close the folder we unzipped and now we're able to delete it. We won't be needing that anymore. All right. So now here in the GitHub page, if you scroll all the way down, you can find the different instructions on how to install it on different slicers. Um, and you can see here, here's a Prusa slicer, slicer, and if you scroll down a little bit more, you can find the Simplified 3D. And for that, um, there's two options for depending on which configuration of Marlin you're running. And since I'm mar running Marlin um, 2.0, I'm going to copy this, copy, and now we head over to our Simplified 3D. And we open the edit process settings down here in the lower left. And then I'll just select this profile here and go to scripts and just copy and paste that here and what I found is that I have to delete everything before the word arc so just like that and then we simply press OK so now to show you that it's working I'll add this piece right here alright and then prepare to print Save toolpath to disk, test driver. All right, I'm gonna save that to my desktop. And that's saved. So now, in order to, for you to see that it worked, where is it, it's right here. I'm gonna open it. And here it is. As you can see here, on the beginning portion of the G code, the process of arc welder is here and this is how you get it working on simplified 3d all right